Hi, my name is Dan Doherty, and I will be teaching the course Government for the People? Question mark. So, do we have a democracy of the people, by the people, and for the people? Or do we have a government that just serves the interests of uh, special interests and of those who are in power? Well, that's the big question that we're going to take a stab at in this course. We'll begin by looking at theoretical reasons to expect the government, in fact, to serve the interests of the, of the general, the, the average person, and then theoretical reasons to expect the government to serve the special interests. Then we'll turn to some data and uh, we'll see what the data seems to say. But we're going to do all of that before we get to the fun part of the class. We'll do all of that before we get to DC. In DC, we'll have speakers. In DC, we'll have speakers who are either from government, from the executive or legislative branches, uh, who themselves impact, of course, the extent to which government works for the people. Uh, we'll also talk to people who uh, themselves are trying to impact the extent to which government serves the people, whether we're talking uh, lobbyists who are trying to push government in one very specific direction, or people who work for nonprofits that are aimed at, uh, well, at countering the special interests and, and getting government uh, on course and having it work for uh, the common, the average person. So uh, DC is the highlight. Uh, let me uh, share with you a few people who we've spoken to us in the past, um, who all of whom I, I believe we should get again. Uh, we have consistently been able to get a couple of former members of Congress, uh, Dan Lundgren and Chet Edwards. I would like to add to their panel a third person, a current newbie member of Congress uh, for a bit of contrast. Um, Edwards and Lundgren both served in the aughts and then Lundgren actually also served in the 80s. Um, second, we will be speaking to a panel of lobbyists, we did last time and I, and I expect that again, uh, who obviously they push a very specific agenda, but they all, uh, at least all the ones we've dealt with, very uh, strongly argue that they don't in any way uh, undermine government serving the general interest. Um, we will speak to uh, people from organizations such as Issue One and uh, Taxpayers for Common Sense. These two organizations both pay close attention to the work that that government does and when they see government straying from the general interest um, they try and pull it back in um, so they are lobbyists too but not lobbyists like the ones who would lobby for let's say the liquor industry um, uh, Jerry Taylor from the Niskanen Institute is another speaker that we've had in the past who I absolutely hope we get again um, because he will uh, come in with his uh, attitude of, oh, oh, we're just so naive, expecting government to, to respond to the common person. Um, government, in, from his perspective, um, responds to elites. That's how it has always been and always will be. And you should just suck it up and, um, and try and influence the elites. Um, and uh, the last person, person I'll mention now is uh, we'll get a speaker, uh, Drew Spencer is the person we've had in the past from an organization called Fair Vote, which has a proposal um, for changing our electoral system, not in a dramatic way, in some ways, it doesn't require a constitutional amendment, but in a significant way, or in particular, our, um, our house elections. And uh, I have to say, I think each time he has spoken, um, he has been, uh, this, if not the student favorite, definitely one of the student favorites. Um, great food for thought. So uh, I think this is a very interesting class. Uh, the speakers and the students, from my perspective, are the ones who make it. And uh, they have come through, both groups have come through with flying colors in past years. And I hope uh, the same will happen again this year. And I hope you will join. Thank you.